because one works in quite a lot of isolation, as you can see, I'm all alone here in my studio. Um, and then, you know, the paintings go out into the big world. Um, but, it, but actually the making of these paintings is actually quite an intimate experience, and I develop a relationship with them. I, li I like a little bit of, well, you know, a, a wildness that we have in South Africa, so I think it's firstly very inspiring, and secondly it's important to, to make commentary on, or to, to certainly um, absorb and express that, that ferment. I think in the South African context, I do have a role to play. We all, all artists do. We have a very interesting country um, with, with very diverse people and I don't have to go into the extraordinary political history that we have. So I think that there is, it is a fascinating and amazing place to be living in. Um, I came across the work of Benny Gould, um, who, who um, has about 20,000 photographs of Mandela since he's been released from prison. Uh, in his archive, and he wanted to do something with the photograph. So I thought, well, taking a photograph of an icon and silkscreening it kind of a la Warhol was, seemed to be the obvious route to go. And I didn't want to just do, do, do the same old Warhol pictures. I mean, when I say the same old Warhol, a lot of these pictures are uh, just photographs. It's a silkscreen, you see. Um, a repeat silkscreens. There's nothing specifically uh, in the background. Um, so it, it, became, it became a quite a, a, a challenge to, to, to take them a step further. Also, must, I must stress the fact that um, these, this work was started way before Mandela got sick and the whole world started going mad. But it also was a reminder of the power this man has on the planet uh, over people and, um, and his kind of iconographic status. Something that he's always been quite wary of. He doesn't want to be a god. You know, he's made it very clear. I think you know, so much of this exhibition is, is, is paying tribute to him. Um, one of the big paintings which has already been sold in Johannesburg, I'll show you a print of, is called um, Rainbow Notion. And it's, it's, it's a repeat print of M Mandela in the colors of the rainbow. Um, notion rather than nation. Uh, something that we nearly achieved but didn't quite. This is called Never Forget My Child. Again, that silhouette has become now so famous it could only be one person in spite of the fact that you can't see his face. Holding, actually, in this case, an AIDS orphan on his lap. You would never guess that those are the same photograph. Mm -hmm. They're totally different pictures using the exact same photograph. Mm -hmm. So that, that, I think, answers your question. Is the, the, again, it's a nice challenge to be able to, to reinterpret each time the exact same photograph. Actually, one of the two pictures on the exhibition, which is effectively done by my black woman, alter ego, uh, Joyce and Torby. Um, Joyce being my, the black woman, alter ego, and also painting, um, at this stage of her career, large-scale pictures of township houses. The image on the left captures his striped shirt, uh, which is actually the, 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 the corrugations of the shack. Uh, looks looking like a prisoner, immediately comes into mind. And of course my theory being that uh, he never really left prison. He came out of prison into another more glorious prison, but he's never been free. He's always been surrounded by bodyguards and minders and secretaries and crowds, and I think the, the, in his case I'm talking about the imprisonment of celebrity, um, and that's something that, that you know, Warhol, it, it kind of ties up with the whole body of work that I've been doing as well. So I always think that, that, that when, um, when Mandela finally does go, um, there's going to be this feeling of this great father having left us as children who were well brought up by this father. Please, 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 love, 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 love.